Okay, welcome everyone. Let's we'll start our second lesson. In this lesson, we'll go to our LO2, which is the Learning Outcome Tool. My name is Anjum Sattar and my email address is anjum at ukversity.co.uk. Please, if you have any questions, just drop me email on my email address. So before starting today's lesson, first of all, we'll recap what we learned in our previous lesson. So please, anyone, anybody remember what we learned in the previous lesson? Um, the difference between criminal and civil law. Excellent. So we discussed. So what is the key difference then? Anyone? What is the key difference between civil law and criminal law? Hello. Hello. You said the criminal law is the criminal law, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, um, Takes care of all criminal matters. Okay, yeah, good. And the civil law deals with disputes between the individuals and organizations as well. Okay. If it's a civil matter, it's between individuals. If it's a criminal matter, between government and individual, yes, our organization yes. can. So criminal is, is a rule-based approach. If you don't follow the rules, you, it's a crime, yes? Yeah? And as a civil matters, and that's a contract law. So which we'll go through <clears throat> then we discuss about different, um, we discuss about literal, yes? Yeah? We discuss yeah. about, so mm -hmm. which, you know, we have in our today lesson as well. So interpretations, and we'll we discuss in last lesson as well. But further, we'll go through today lesson because our LO two is also based on these things as well. Any questions? Can I ask a question. Yes, you, you didn't send the recording of the last uh, um, of the last uh, class, did you? I didn't get uh, mine. This is on Moodle. We normally this Raman should upload it. I can check now. Otherwise, I can forward you not issue. If we'll check here, yes. Can you see? Yes, please. If you if you look here in Moodle, on Moodle, uh, lesson one recording, huh? Mr. Sato, or okay. the. Uh, the printout of, I mean, the PowerPoint of yesterday, the presentation of yesterday, and the one on, on, on Moodle actually, are they the same or are they different? Mm, my lesson, just one second, I can show you. Yes, you will see there I is a link there is called Padlet mm -hmm. on Moodle, and you will see there lesson one, yes? All right. See all the all the relevant resources as well, huh? mm -hmm. and in the same way, I'll add you know the lesson two on uh, this Padlet, and you will get you know lesson two resources as well on Moodle. Huh? You just need to click right. the link, and you just need to click mm -hmm. here, and you can right. download as well huh? all the slides. And those are the other slides, those are previous uh, previous uh, years, uh, you can say, uh, the last time we deliver. Uh, but we carry on improving them and amending them accordingly. Okay, welcome, let's we'll start. So the last lesson we learned about the civil and criminal matters, and we discuss about civil law and so today lesson will go through what we're supposed to. So today lesson will go through our learning outcome two, which is understand the rules of secretary interpretation. So interpretation will go through. So key command word today is explain, describe, and uh, analyze. So these are the three key command word which we're supposed to be. So when we'll prepare our assignment brief, so please just need to be focused on these command verb. Eh? So we have a merit criteria and we have a distinction if you want to work towards. Eh? 
So to pass this, we need to go through 2.1 and 2.2. But if you want to be work towards merit 2M1, you need to, and otherwise, uh, other if you want to work for a further higher grade, so 2D1, so we need to go through. So the salt and uh, plus if we'll go further down, we have what we're supposed to be. We have these inductive contents given what we're supposed to be learned. We discussed last lesson, civil, private, public law. We discussed these codes and uh, we discussed golden rule, literal, purpose, approach, intrinsic, extrinsic. And uh, today lesson will some discussion will be focused on English quote as well in the next lesson. Next two lessons will part there as well because that's all inductive content give us by awarding bodies, uh, which is eight ATHE and we supposed to be follow. Okay, let's will start. You know, any question? Anyone? So expl explain is being ex here. What is explain meant by is give account of the purpose of the reason. If we'll say explain something, we need to give the reason and we need to give the purpose. When we'll say analyze, we need to separate information into components. We need to components. We just we can't say just is civil is a, between. We need to give the further category of these laws. Yes. So what come under civil? What come court laws, which we discussed last lesson? So if it's analyzed there, the words, we need to give the sub elements of the company. Okay. So now you can rate yourself uh, in term of your knowledge. Eh? What do you think? Where are we up to now? We improve. Maybe last week we were on three, two, whatever. Eh? And any point we think, you know, we move from further or not. Eh? And we'll see in the next lesson. Where are we up to? So carry on reflecting. It's good to be we do we we'll carry on doing reflections. Our learning we carry on learning. Any question? Okay. So today lesson key focus will be all these key points we'll go through. We'll discuss about court system. We'll discuss about mistrate and various. But in the next lesson we'll go more in detail these court system as well. So 2.1, we have explained the traditional techniques, interpretation, and how they used. So last lesson we discussed as well. So we discuss about literal rules. We we'll discuss golden rule. So further we can. So you can copy the link and which is all explanation there as well. Huh? That we'll go through in our slides. Okay. First of all, we'll discuss about judge making laws. So is it judge making law? Judge makes and change the laws in the civil and criminal. Is become under case laws, yes. But I see the parliament uh, which we discussed last lesson stages huh? to make the law. And then interpretation, just normally interpret. And then some interpretation can develop the new common law. So what is meant by common law? Do, Sorry? Do we, what is meant by common law? Uh, if, I'm not sure, but if I can guess, it's something that has to do with judicial precedent. Is that correct? Yes. Well, then that's, you know. So it's become a common law. Okay. Then we have the word doctrine of the binding. Yes. So it's mean the yeah, previous cases. Yes, we can. And the judge can make the decision based on these. Stay decide, which means, you know, stand by decision. So previous decision, we can use it and the judge use it to make the decision for future. And the judge are bound to apply. Judge are bound to apply. You know, that's why whenever the our solicitor deal with the matters, the legal matters, they always put the case laws in it. So you very well said, yeah. Precedents made in the earlier cases, yes. But the superior code are the same tier of courts. Any question there? Okay, next 
different systems we can use adversarial system which we can say english law operate under this system where two or more party will put their cases forward to judge and who must be neutral so judge need to be neutral not favor to one party but if is the sun matters like you know do we know the do we maybe heard about rule based approach rule based approach and ethical based approach anybody knows what is meant by call principle based approach anybody knows what is the key difference between rule based and a principle based no idea and so do we know the rule based what is the rule based rule is a clear cut yes we know the data protection act there are the eight principle and everyone we need to be follow yes yeah mm -hmm. and the principle are are ethics which is ethical yes yeah. yeah. normally in rules we not use the ethics but of course wider interest and the wider interest of the public yes we use some moral principles as well sometimes we use you know to resolve the things okay so that's called ethical so normally if you if you are a member of any awarding body you have to be follow some professional ethic those been set of the you know all different awarding body if you are a chartered manager you chartered member or you are so la do we know sa sra we discuss mm. sar but s last lesson we discuss sar is a subject accessory request yes yeah. and sra is is a solicitor regulatory authority yes so all solicitor is registered with sra so if you have any conflict with the authority you have a right to complain to where sra and all the solicitor are because their license can be yes revoke so as far as you solicitor or the solicitor from not provide you good service you have a right to complain to sra and sra very tough huh? they not take the matter easy but they take very serious huh? your complaint so adversary system where two and more party will put their case forward to the judge who must be neutral other country must have in tutorial system where the judge will be move more involved here judge not more involved judge is of both party put the case yes and the judge give the case on judge don't just use own judgment judge use the the factual in the, so but in other country can be he or she may cross examine or the question witness more question witness witness statement here we looking more factual information we use as well but is more focus on this sort of approach okay what is the adr alternative dispute resolution is encouraged to help party to negotiate an acceptance or acceptable outcome to their dispute so we can say come on we are agree in between yes and lot of cases we can settle outside the court do we know lot of cases we can settle outside the court why yeah. why we why we decide to settle out? Yes, please. Maybe media interest or cost, financial interest. Media interest. Yes, we can say. Uh, you know, if we set in the court, if the court set and it become a case law, you know, lot of case laws. You have to deal all the previous cases, all the decision you made in the. Maybe you have to reverse those decision, yes, yeah? because it's a new case law. and the old party they have a case against them they can use this case law to pursue it 
So that's why it's a lot of cases the parties want to be at the even, especially cases between home affairs and cases between individuals or cases between various others. They can settle outside the court and they can pay compensation to each other to settle the dispute because otherwise it become a case law. Yes, when court gave the judgment, it become a case law. Any question there? What happens if the court judgment becomes a case law and you don't settle out of the um, out of the court? So if you set between yourself as parties, well, say, you know, you let's say, you know, if we have accident and you say we exchange the car insurance and we can settle between us, yes? So okay. that's, that's, that's the outside. But if we'll go in court, we'll taking into court, but you have your evidence, I have my evidence. We're not really, maybe court say, come on, it's better for you to settle it, yes? Or maybe we have a case okay. against the council or various other matters, huh? So maybe counsel say no problem. We are happy to pay you compensation. But we are happy to withdraw it, yes, and we are happy to settle between us. Mm -hmm. if, right. if the court if the court gives the judgment, it become a case law. Mm -hmm. So that's we you know lot of in the companies even uh, in various various sort of cases. Huh? Arbitrations and conciliations and uh, mediation. So really, we need a different form of, and we really want to settle the cases, and that's ADR. Okay. Okay. Next. Mediate middle parties. Some you know can be middle parties can mediate uh, to settle it. Like sometime you know you have a case like if you look there, first suppose you have a case against Virgin Media. So who is the regulator of Virgin Media is Ofcom, yes? Mm. And you complain in Ofcom, yes? Mm. And then you want to take Virgin Media to court, yes? Mm. Maybe Ofcom say to you and to Virgin Media, you can settle and they advise to Virgin Media, pay the compensation, settle it. Otherwise, yes, any complaint mm. you have to. So they can mediate as well. So otherwise, all the complaints have to be um, uh, Ofcom would register that, and then that would be an embarrassment to Virgin Media. Yes, because like you know, they off gym for suppose yes, off gym. They said to various gas electricity company, you have to change your tariff. Yes. Mm -hmm. So so you need to think about because. Different tariff, different, you know, the things. So you have to change your all the packages, all the product to meet it. So if you settle it outside, you don't need to be take hassle all these, huh? Yeah. Also, does that, this then come under the civil law? Is this an example of civil law, civil dispute? So yes, it can be a civil, yes, civil dispute as well, yes. Okay. So next we need look now. Common law and the uh, equity. So historical, the national law of the land is known as a common law, yes, mm. and did not allow for much flexibility and only remedies available for monetary, yes, compensation and damages. The court of equity provided the additional remedies, but were not classified as a right. It was intended to be supplement. Equity is look as moral, just and the fair outcome. A successful party and it still exists today. It's quite historical, yes, equity. Equity normally we use in accounting perspective. Equity mean capital. Huh? Normally we use in accounts and business, yes, equity capital. In your house, how much equity you have, yes? The word equity we use, how much is the capital, yes? So here we're looking equity more in term of just paying the damages stuff, huh? Any question? Okay. Then last lesson we also discuss about public law and the private law. Relationship between individual and states. And private law, of course, the relationship between individual, yes? 
any question there no question and next we we discuss in um, last lesson as well we need to be look around interpretation because your learning outcome two is also is based on these terminology which we discussed last lesson as well so the law also known as a legislation is a written law of the united kingdom they are created and they implemented by parliament that's a written law yes but the case laws is become from the court Inter Interpreting mean the legislation is not always straightforward. Different people, maybe section of the law can interpret in different. So judge can look around the scenario and called upon interpret the law in according with the existing law and the rules. So we need to look around and the judge make the decision. Interpretation may be required where complicity there, uncertainty arise as how the law applies in the given situation. So, do we know the lockdown now, yes? Mm -hmm. Is it clear? What you can, what you can't? Anyone, what do you think about lockdown? Is it clear law? Is it law now? Uh, temporary legislation? Yes, you're right. Yes, what a lot of lot of you know the police used to be stop the people maybe, and then the courts had come on. Yes, we don't want to be a police state. Why? Because it's a not a something is not a clear. Yes, hmm. it needs to be clear message. Yes, if it's a law, it should be law. But here, here is the more comes laws and legis and the morals as well. Yes protecting as a wider interest of society so we said any law can be superseded if it is a wider interest of the public okay so complicity and uncertainty arise as how the law apply in a given situation those who drop the law at most within the extraordinary experience of drafting that skill Cross the legislation. This is a clear. We need to be make sure. Written laws is not always clear. So we need to be look around the current situation. That's become the case laws and the judge they need to be interpret. Okay. So we discussed last lesson as well. Yes. Literal rule golden. And the judge has the uh, discretion. So literal under the literal rule, the word is stewed as the given their ordinary and the natural meaning. Yes, they are to be literally and don't need to be analyzed further in the different meanings. So if I'll say DPA, yes, 1998, yes, we know this is a Data Protection Act, yes. And clear, we have a eight principle there, and it's also just clear. So we need to be. This can be a literal, and thus can be judge can use it uh, by looking this further and not different meaning and disregarding the plain words of legislation. An example of the plain reading resulting into harsh result in term of plain reading, but a harsh result. So that was the case law. Railway worker was killed while doing some oiling on the railway line as a result of their being no look out the point. Huh? So we need to look around. The judge would not grant any in this compensation for harassment the death as the relevant act only state. Okay, let's say you know. Do do you know the redundant? If you if you make or company make you redundant. What is the rule? Do we know the rule? Redundant rule. Yes? No. So, the rule is every year of service, yes? One week, one week salary you're supposed to get. One week salary. 
if you're complete one year, you're supposed to get, if com company want to make redundant, they give you one year, sorry, one week salary, yes? Mm -hmm. But there is a law of discrimination as well. Do we know the discrimination law? We can't discriminate people on the basis of their race, religion, yes? Age, sex, these, you know, that we can't really discriminate, huh? But if I'll say, we'll say, you know, the people, these, these age group, we are going to make them redundant, yes? Then we want to make them redundant, but we, we are discriminating them, yes? We're picking ourselves by making, maybe based on our liking and disliking, yes? Mm -hmm. We can't do it. That's why the company used voluntary redundant, yes? Voluntary. I by law, you're supposed to pay one week salary. We can say anybody, whoever want to be apply a voluntary salary, one week salary was 500 pound. We are happy to give you 3000 pound redundant money, yes? Because we don't want to go in those lines, the people say we've been discriminated, huh? and we're not being treated equally. Mm -hmm. Any question there? Okay. If you want to so, challenge and dispute that, what would you do? You take it to small tribunal court. I guess we can, you know, that's the employment law and we can take them, yes? So, rule is one week salary plus the age, plus the age factor as well, I not mentioned. Age factor. If I'm 40 times by three, yes? If I'm 50 plus my age, so if I'll say 500 times by four, so you should get 2,000 pounds, not, so if you're under 30, you have a more chance to get the jobs, yes? Or you are 40 plus, so is a different bracket, so we need to look at those as well. Huh? Okay, next, we, next we're looking the golden rule, is used to prevent inconsistency. If we have an inconsistency, we need to uh, prevent and we need to go through interpreting and act literally it can be applied narrowly and widely yes both ways under the narrow approach the court can only choose between the possible meaning of word and if one meaning is apparent we can the meaning must be adopted so we have some case laws there, defendant was charged under the Official Secret Act in 1920. So we can, in, it is a prohibited areas, like, you know, you're entering in those areas, although defendant had carried out the sections inside the areas, and the court did not restrict itself to the literal wording of the act and found him guilty. Under the wider approach, court can motif, modify the word uh, to avoid a problem, for instance, uh, where there is a obvious and clear meaning, but this meaning would lead to be absurd result. So we need to be look around if it's, maybe it's a clear message so we can interpret on the golden rules. Huh? So golden rule, you look both, yes? A narrow and the wide approach. Any question there? If you want, if you want to read further, it's good to be. You can go type this case, and we can go through the case law full. Huh? What is about? Okay. Yes. Next. This is rule which we discussed last lesson as well. Sometimes suit the law can be defined more broadly by the court to deal with unforeseen loopholes or ambiguity within the legislation. Like, uh, when we look self-employed in UK, yes? And uh, you know Hoover Taxi, yes? Anybody heard about their case in the court, yes? yes. Employed and self-employed, so what do you think? Anybody working for this taxi firm, is it implied or self-implied? No. 
what is the key difference between implied and self-implied? You're under or not under a company. Okay. If you're a self-implied, yes, hmm. you are not under control, yes? Hmm. Under control. You can make your decision yourself, yes? You not under control some button, someone, yes? But yes. if you were implied, you are a control buyer, yes? So Uber is a control buyer because the salary is coming in their accounts, yes? They distribute the money. So that's why the argument was in the court is it should be treated as a implied or should be treated as a self-implied. Because they're keeping their commission, they're keeping the things, yes? They manage the money. They give them. They control it, yes? They can say what time even you work or not work, yes? They can down the app. They can change the rates. So there was the argument. Then the court said it should be treated as implied and it should be paid, uh, uh, should be paid a holiday pay. Yeah? Because if you are impl implied by, you, you're supposed to be get at least two holidays per month. Huh? Any question there? No. May prevent the parliament original intention to be honest. The application is known as chief rule and will be used where there is an ambiguity. There is not clear the things. Huh? You can with not, yes, and we can use it. So there are the lot of you know landmark cases there. Even uh, if um, you know the will, uh, if you have your written will and uh, you died and you give money to our, you giving to the trust, you know, their luck was, that was the high court case as well. So we need to be look around those, some cases with there being you this. So examine the common laws prior to the act. Locate the mischief or defect in the common law. Defect. So law can maybe not fit for purpose anymore. Fit for purpose. Not fit for purpose. So law is not mean. Law is always for the wider interest of the public or the society. So if not, we need to be changed it accordingly. Our judge can give that and can use it. So locate. Identify the remedies, parliament meant to purpose, the eliminate, so we need to, uh, parliament can make it further, you know, the section with it and make it clearer. Use is narrow than the golden rule, is narrow than the golden rule, only apply to determine chief or defect the suit by the intent to be remedies, uh, intent to be remedies want to give, uh, because that was, wasn't clear in the law and the that's why people not follow it. Okay, judge discretion. To apply in any of these rules, interpretation I deem appropriate. We can look around. Each of the rule has imperfection, but it provides judge with the ability to interpret the legislation. So best way possible to achieve the result as intended by the parliament, when it was enacted. These are the three interpretations provide the coherent and the proven framework for the court to follow to achieve the best outcome. So man thing is the justice. Yes, man thing is the best outcome. Okay, then we discussed last lesson intrinsic, extrinsic. We discussed internal and external, yes. Within law or not, or how we can use some, you know, the external environmental factors and various other ground reality. So, which will go through 2.2, .2, which is all about describe. So, extrinsic aid as the matter which may help to put an act into context. We need to look around the context. What was the scenario? Why this happened? There are the things found outside the actual. Uh, we can say law is maybe considered by the judge 
to help them to understand the meaning of this clearly the following intrinsic aids may be regarded as acceptable as long as the long and the short title of an mill and the definition of section schedules and headings we can say if i'll anybody check dpa 1998 for suppose how many section we have anyone knows hello can you hear me so yep. dp how many principal we discuss eight principal yes so we'll see there there are the short long and the schedule and definition and headings uh. so if you type dpa is a data protection dpa 1990 Eight, and you will see there. Of course, it's law being changed, so we can look around now. So that's what is being. We'll see in the act there. Discover the information and the data. Yes. So then we have a section setting the rules. I have the people follow, and we these information commissioner and data controller need to be, and we have a section within it. These are the principal data controller's name and address, description of the information, what is being stored, what is the purpose. So data need to be relevant, up to date, not excessive. so we need to look around and sub section been given in where we can apply and different perspective sensitive data we supposed to be not ask you know some question not excessive data so these ways we can look around and the large in in the short and the long title and further sub headings okay then Intrinsic aid advantages. It's more respectful of Parliament to look elsewhere in the Act rather than the outside the Act. Intrinsic internal. Yes, we discuss. It's a quick and easy to look the things like marginal notes, which were help in like in different cases. That was the case. That's the case law. Some internal aids. like interpretation sections schedules which also help you know the further we can look around within the case the title and then we can look the further and we can look around the conclusion so these are the case laws we been given to further look around so extrinsic are the matters which help to put act into context so the things found outside the actual suit within the law may be the considered by the judge to help them to understand the meaning so we can look around the dictionary and the legal textbook we can look around the other laws we can look around the reports on we can look around the international treaties we can look around the explanation we can look around the human human rights do we know the human rights yes so that everyone who set it you are know and almost every you know the country have signed it okay so we can look around these in extrinsic is external huh? okay so there are the good few case laws there we can look around because our merit and distinction criteria where we need to add more case laws huh? okay so exercise research following cases we can research is all been given and those we can write in 2m and 2d so that will help and this is our little mind map so we can look around this mind map and which i already link into our last lesson as well huh? so we can look around intrinsic extrinsic what is these are 
all the subsection is please good to be go through and they, when you prepare your assignment these will help you and last lesson i copied the link as well with the little in you know, the mind maps stuff you know which are included huh? any question uh, up to now anyone okay next we looking explain and you know which is our these criteria included some more stuff in it old slide you will see then wasn't wasn't there being addressed so which we now we are addressing the rule of uh shoot interpretation here in a light by the professor john uh, is one of the author he wrote some books and the uh, interpret so interpretation in the nutshell he suggests the code involved whichever of the rule produce a result that satisfy its sense so satisfy its sense in the case before it although the literal rule is the one most frequent referred to in express term express term mean the written within your contract laws and various we have express and implied terms if you open your employment contract normally is in the contract is written huh? these are express term and these are implied terms huh? so which will go through further lessons the court treat all these valid refer to them occasions yes and demands but it really enough and don't assign any reason for choosing one rather than another so this the some occasion the literal rules would be preferred to the we can look around further yes remedies other reverse would be in the be the case it would impossible to predict with the certainty which approach would be adopted in the particular case so it can be different approaches can be used because different judge use different ways they see same rules in the different angles of this so just the english approach involve not so much a choice between the alternative rules as the progressive analysis in which the judge first consider the ordinary meaning of the word general context and broad views being taken of what constitutes the context and when move consider other possibilities where the ordinary meanings lead to the sort the result so we need to look around the unified contextualized approach supported by so we need a decision of the house of lord where the general principle or interpretation has been discussed we have a committees as well and different committees will further discuss as well so maybe a couple of cases you heard about anybody knows sports direct what is the unique thing in your sports direct do we know this unique thing have you picked something is very unique Uh, in the uk we sports direct is always they saying up to 75% reduction in prices yes? and uh, have you seen lot of young people yes even 16 17 18 19 20 less than 24 they recruit and most of the young yet a lot working because the national minimum wage one thing and most of them is hourly paid yes and they don't have a permanent contract and uh, other they not used to pay the fair wages as well so the uh, the company went to into the exact committee in the committee in the parliament sir it been question and they change now a bit but still you know they not used to pay holiday pay and various other things any question there okay so we can look around these the next uh within that i included some uh, further to differentiate criminal is a burden of proof huh? high court standard beyond the reasonable doubt we need to be make sure everything then because is a criminal matter civil is a possibilities parties in civil is called claimant and defendant in the criminal is called cps crown prosecution against accused is called defendant huh? age of criminality is a responsibility 
we need to look around those when we deal with the cases these sort of so civil proceeding climate use the defendant proceeding commence in the county or the high court and the case is cited claimant name and versus the defendant name mr a or mr b yes like smith and smith yes defendant found liable if the successful judgment entered in the favor of the claimant the claimant awarded damages huh? and the purpose of the compensate for the loss or the injury is the damage damages any question there then the criminal prosecution we already know cps crown prosecution pros prosecute the purpose is to determine the guilty is a guilty or not guilty so case will go in the court or just stay up to the pro crown prosecution case cited versus are we defendant name proceeding commence in the magistrate court magistrate court and then the crown court seriousness of offense and the offender is convicted if guilty or acquitted if not guilty and defendant on offense and there may be in jury elected to assist the judge in the sentencing the defendant any question there okay influence of other rule other laws uk flexibility constitution no written constitution but the parliament is supreme by law a body european community act leading we need to be part of and treaty and convention in the international treaties on human rights uno and human rights so as a country we need to be follow and then we could look the legal professional barrister self employed can be if it is a barrister it can be self employed in a house the general counsel bar they normally charge the fees advocacy in all the courts and the opinion writing solicitor usually employed by the legal practice okay and if you solicitor regulatory authority and the legal executive you may be have you heard about selex okay yes is so selex qualifications as well the court criminal so magistrate court less serious offense and the crown court is more serious yes and civil is called county court and the case can goes to a high court as well if very serious type of and for both court of appeal in the civil and the criminal division and the supreme court is the higher any question okay then the judiciary county court district judge and circuit judge and the high court high court judge yes and court of appeal lord lady justice of appeal same of the civil and the criminal and the magistrate court so it's good to know the how the system work and how yes county courts matters include the contract tort and the land and attendant will divorce and all these we discuss you know generally personal injury claim and the compensation less than 50000 and 100000 if is more is goes to at the county court can be transferred to the high at the discretion of the judge can goes the further you can look around in the further high court you know this matter because in the lower bench we can't decide it yes it goes to the upper tribunal any question okay now i uh, will do a bit you know are we ready yes let's will do a bit quiz yes to develop our understanding so please who will go first are you anyone can speak huh? let's please what is the name given the case law which is form of the basis of the future court decision which one we think
Yes, please. Can you hear me? Judicial President. Okay. Well done. Correct. Yes. Good. Okay. Next, please. Which of the following may be regarded as a disadvantage of using judicial? So, what do you think? Which one will be correct in this case now? False cases can seem to be relevant and out of touch. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Sorry, which of, uh, okay, past cases, is it? Yep. Okay, well done, correct, good. And what is meant by the term high court? A court which has the power to overturn decisions made in previous court cases. Okay, well done. Correct. Yeah. Good. Okay. Correct. Okay. Next. Which court will deal with the low value of the cases below 5,000? The county court, maybe? Oh. Which court? Small claim court. It's a small claim court, yes? even with you know the section there okay it will recap and high court is the split into three divisions huh? which we called anyone knows high court i have a three divisions huh? uh, not appeal lords and european but the other three so which one you we think first, second, third, fourth? Oh, okay. Uh, appeal crown and magistrate. Okay, we're looking high court, huh? I would say number four, magistrate. Uh, we're just not looking straight or any county court, I think. We're looking high court. In a high court, I have a three division, three benches. Huh? So, which one will go first, second, third, fourth? You want me to go fourth or you want me to pick one? I'll say one then. Okay, which is correct, yeah? So, <laughs> you <can't get> that <laughs> high court three, three divisions huh? is a queen bench, family, yes, and other, you know, the matters which is normally financial. Huh? Okay, when the European court of the judge involve, when, yes? Maybe the first one? First one. Well done. Yes, correct. Okay, next. Hmm. Maybe I would go for minus civil. Minus. It's a mistrade code. First, you need to we need to think about mistrade code deals what? It's a criminal or civil matters, yes. Mm -hmm. And then that will help. Sorry, which one will go? Oh. Summary. Minor and civil. Minor and civil. Minor civil. Mm -hmm. Because mistrade court is a criminal, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, so it should be a criminal, huh? so which will recap. A decision made by the 
uh, made in the Crown Court can be appealed in the High Court? And which High Court? Magistrate. Magistrate Court? Yeah, magistrate. We, we can go through the High Court, Court of Appeal. Huh? Okay, which will go through further. Which are the highest appeal court for the most of the cases? First, is, is it the appeal court civil or is it the appeal court criminal division or is it the European Court of Justice? That is the first one, appeal court for civil division. Mm. Yes, so, uh, yes, so it will, it will go through, we'll recap. So what about next, please? Constitutional Reform Act, which is 2005, find the Court of Appeal in the UK will become known as? Supreme Court of the UK. Supreme Court. Supreme Court, yeah. So, highest court of land is the Supreme Court, huh? mm. Okay, so we'll review where we went a bit okay that was right so which was the court which deal with the yes low value it should be small claim quota oh. less than five thousand worth of that was correct correct yes dealt because we said in the previous summary yes of the civil matter the here is a summary of the Criminal matters, yes, but they not use the word, so these are just summary there. Huh? Mm. Okay, next. Crown, yes, is a Crown Court can appeal in which court? Mistrate Crown, yes. So that can be appealed into the higher, yes, appeal court in the criminal division. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, then. The highest appeal of the court, most of the cases, House of Lord. Eh? Okay, next is the right. Yes, well done. Eh? So, any question? So, we have this poster, yes, which we lost. Let's that we have. I already included the link for you huh, in the last lesson. So that's, you know, that's all today. In today's lesson, we learn about uh, all the interpretation and we learn the court and the judge and the court systems. And that's all, you know, today's lesson. If you have any question, please drop me email on my email address. And the next lesson will go to our LO3. Anyone, any question before finish?